Kim Kardashian has had many partners and several husbands, so her love life has always given magazines something to talk about. And now her current partner and recent divorce, well, what follows? This has been the reason for new speculation about the future of this businesswoman. Do you want to know what we're talking about? Stay to find out all the details. According to Sky News, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's marriage is finished, and the reality star has been pronounced legally single by a U.S. court. Kardashian, according to Rolling Stone, appeared virtually at the hearing on March 2nd while West was away, with his lawyer standing in for him. Kardashian said no when asked if counseling, more time, or judicial intervention could repair her marriage, and reiterated her wish to be restored to the status of a single person. Her petition received no opposition, and her request was approved. While West has yet to respond to the revelation, he has released a new music video for his song, Easy, in which he appears to be burying a cartoon man who looks much like Pete Davidson. God saved me from the crash just so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass, the song also says. Following Kanye West's public criticism of comedian Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian backed her current boyfriend, Pete Davidson. This was revealed through leaked messages from the Skims founder to the rapper, which the rapper subsequently made public on social media. Now, after questioning West's decision to broadcast their private communications on his Instagram account, Kardashian has filed a court document seeking to have her marriage to West quickly terminated due to the emotional distress she's experienced as a result of the rapper's public moves, according to NBC. The following is an excerpt from the statement obtained by the news organization. I very much desire to be divorced. I have asked Kanye to keep our divorce private, but he has not done so. Kanye has been putting a lot of misinformation regarding our private family matters and co-parenting on social media, which has created emotional distress. I believe that the court terminating our marital status will help Kanye to accept that our marital relationship is over and to move forward on a better path, which will assist us in peacefully co-parenting our children. The request supposedly continued, While I wish our marriage would have succeeded, I've come to the realization that there is no way to repair our marriage. Kanye does not agree, but at least it appears that he has come to the realization that I want to end our marriage, even if he does not. I ask that the court restore me to the status of a single person so that I can begin the healing process, and so that our family can begin the healing process and move forward in this new chapter in our lives. Kim Kardashian withdrew her rapper ex's surname from her Instagram and Twitter profiles a day after being declared legally separate from Kanye West, reverting to her maiden name. This comes after she was discovered to have liked a tweet about her current boyfriend, Pete Davidson, from American filmmaker James Gunn. The tweet read, For the record, Pete Davidson is one of the nicest, sweetest guys I know. A truly generous, tender, and funny spirit, he treats everyone around him with respect. After all this, Kim has continued her life with Pete, now her new partner. When the public first learned that Kim Kardashian was dating Pete Davidson, it was widely considered that the mother of four was only searching for a rebound fling. We can now confidently state that this was not the case six months later. Pete and Kim are still very much a couple, despite Kanye's best efforts to break them up, and insiders say their romance is moving quickly. Pete is reportedly on the verge of proposing to Kim, according to one insider. But before these two lovebirds can dash to the altar, they must overcome one major obstacle. Kim may have four children of her own, but she appears to be controlled by her own mother, Kris Jenner, in many ways. After all, Kris is still Kim's manager, and it appears that while evaluating Kim's current relationship, Chris takes into account what marriage may entail for her career. Pete wants to propose, but he'll have to sign a contract. The way Chris sees it, Kim needs a partner who can work with the family and fit their long-term goals, a source close to the situation told Heat magazine. She wants Pete to agree to commit to the brand for the foreseeable future and give her total control over any decisions around marriage and children. The insider claimed, Chris may appear to be very businesslike about everything, but she appears to be looking forward to having a new son-in-law, as long as he's good for the family brand, of course. She knows Pete will make a great son-in-law while being an asset to the Kardashian franchise, so she's already making arrangements for a proposal by early summer, possibly sooner, the source adds. Kim's totally on board. That's significant given that she's the one who'll be marrying the guy. We joke about it with the cards, but in all seriousness, it's not hard to imagine Pete is intending to propose soon. Kim finalized her divorce from Kanye last month, and insiders believe her urgency to move on was fueled at least in part by her desire to move forward with Pete. According to the insider, Kim sees no reason to wait and is eager to start a family with Pete. So why do they say that Kim rejected him? Mason Disick's new Instagram account has returned with some Kardashian news, weeks after leaking Kylie Jenner's purported new baby name. 
fans of the Kardashian family have been following an Instagram account that they claim belongs to Mason Disick. And the account has returned with more information on the family just weeks after reportedly announcing Kylie Jenner's new baby's name. The Finsta, or phony Instagram social media account, has been spreading falsehoods about all of the Kardashian Jenners, with some particularly eyebrow-raising claims floating online. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson have been dating for five months following her ongoing divorce from Kanye West, and the account went to Instagram stories a few days ago to answer followers' burning questions about the family, including one concerning relationship updates on Kim Kardashian and Davidson. Is Kim going to have a baby with Pete? A fan inquired, to which the account replied, Yes, they want a baby together via surrogate, but first, they want to get married. They planned it for around 2023, the account added. And Chloe also wants a baby via surrogate, the alleged Mason account said, implying that this isn't the only Kardashian baby planned for next year. They are planning to expect around the same time. The page, however, appears to have been deleted already, with followers uncovering a new one under a different pseudonym, which went on to offer more acclaimed Kardashian gossip. After striking out at Kim on Instagram stories for allegedly getting the other page banned, the account has racked up 14,000 followers in only a few days. Kim got proposed to by Pete last week, and she said it's not the time yet but wants a kid with him next year. The person running the new account claimed, appearing enraged by the page's deletion. Could it be true that Kim still doesn't want to talk about it until Kris Jenner's contract is signed? The two made their first red carpet appearance earlier this month walking the red carpet for the debut of her new reality TV show The Kardashians on Hulu, holding hands. Kim revealed her love for Davidson and their decision to make things Instagram official during her most recent appearance on The Ellen Show in March. I guess it's not official until you post on Instagram, she told Ellen, adding that she wanted to be careful about uploading too many photographs of them because the last time she dated was before Instagram existed and she doesn't yet know what the rules are. Pete and Kim have been friends for a long time and if you've seen this photo as a meme, you'll be astonished when you see it in person. The reason for this is that they were born on the same day two years ago on Kid Cudi's birthday, but Kanye was also present and it appears that Kanye no longer finds this truth nice. Kim and Kanye West dined with Pete and Timothy Chamolet to celebrate Kid Cudi's birthday. It's funny that they actually met while Kim was still married to Kanye. What a couple they've become, as strange as it may seem, but it's real. Pete later acknowledged to Jimmy Fallon that he was stuck paying the bill and referred to Kimye as the cutest couple ever. After that, Kim appeared on Saturday Night Live and kissed Pete during a spoof of Jasmine and Aladdin. And it seems that from there, everything unleashed into a love story. What do you think? Would you like to see Kim and Pete get married? Can you imagine that? What do you think about the contract that Chris wants Pete to sign? Isn't the proposal very intense? Leave us your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.